and therefore we can summarize the idea of compound interest using this table. And uh, in fact, the principal in compound interest will increase every year. And suppose we have P equals to $100 and interest rate R equals to 10%. And therefore in the beginning of the first year, we have principal $100 and then the interest will be $100 multiplied by 10% and therefore this will be $10. And the amount at the end of the year will be the sum of the principal and the interest P plus I Therefore, we have one one o dollars, and then at the beginning of the second year, the principal will no longer be one hundred dollars. In fact, it will be one one o one hundred and ten dollars. This will be our new principal. In fact, it is the sum of the principal and the interest in the first year, and so. In the second year, the interest will be one one o dollars multiplied by ten percent, and this will be eleven dollars. And you can see that this interest in the second year is more than that in the first year by one dollar. And in fact, this one dollar comes from the interest, uh, the interest of the interest of the first year, and uh, since we have the interest. In the first year is ten dollars. So this interest has some other and uh, and other parts of interest in the second year, which will be ten dollars times ten percent, and this will be one dollar, and this is part of the interest of the second year. And therefore, in Chinese, we call this part lay da lay. In fact, it is the interest of the interest. In the first year, so this additional one dollar is called lay da lay, and again, we have in the end of the second year, the amount will be the sum of the principal and the interest, and this will be one hundred and twenty-one dollars, and again, this will be the principal of the third year, and the interest in the third year will be. One to one dollars times ten percent, which in fact equals to one a twelve point one dollars, and finally, at the end of the third year, the amount will be one three three point one 